Question nine. And it explains why we did question eight. So question nine is a follow on from question eight, where we're going to find the second moment of area for this cross section, where we are going to continue our table. So previously we had a table like that. Actually, we worked out with the AY as well, aren't we? So let's put them in. So we've got the AY values. So pause the video now and uh, work out what your H's are your a h squareds are and what your b d's to the power of 3 divided by 12s are so pause the video now and work that out okay so those of you that uh, want to see the solution i'll continue so the first thing that you want to do is uh, look for your h's really so we know what our centroid for this lower one is at one and a half we know the middle section there is at two and a half, so the distance from here to here is one. And for this one here, you know it's at two and a half, where the neutral axis is for the entire section. And the centroid for this position is three and a half. So three and a half take away two and a half equals one. So our H's are simply going to be one and one. You'll find when you do um, T bars and they're both the same cross sections that the distance for your H's will be the equal to the same because it's the same weighting. So next we want to look back at our A's. So we've got A's there and multiply it by H squared so we can fill in this column. So that's going to be 3 times 1 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 1 times 1 equals 3. And the final column we can go back and look for our b's times our d's to the power of 3 divided by 12 and fill in that column there. To find your second moment of area, we're going to add up everything in these two columns. So our a h squareds plus our uh, b d's to the power of 3 divided by 12s. We're going to add up all these columns. So we're going to have 3 plus 3, 2.25. 0.25 add them all up and we're going to get a second moment of area of 8.5 meters to the power of 4.